fantastic interview that you did where you talked about the fact that Hope has been one of the most challenging characters for you, but there was something about this time around. You had an epiphany, and I would love to hear more about your thoughts on Hope this time. An, an epiphany. Well, I'm, I mean, Hope has been evolving so much and so rapidly over three movies. It's very rare that you get to play a character in film where you get this kind of change from film to film. She started out a really cold and sort of isolated character. And, you know, by the time we get to the beginning of this film, she is reunited with her mother. She has repaired her relationship with her father. She's fallen in love with Scott. And she's kind of the stepmom of sorts. So she's really entrenched in family life and as a very, very new um, sort of open heart, and so she's much more vulnerable than she was th when we first met her. Yeah, well I was gonna say, somebody who's had their, basically their walls up for 30 years, yeah. takes them down all of a sudden, that's a little dangerous too, right? Yeah, really dangerous, especially when you get sucked into the quantum realm yeah. with all of your loved ones. As we all know. <laughs> as you do, as you do. You know. And along those lines, you know, so much of what has driven Hope through these last two movies is being reunited with her mom, but the reality of that versus the expectation of what that's really like. Can you talk to us about what it's like when they finally come together and have time? Yeah, I think when, when she lost her mom, she was eight years old, and she might have had a stunted understanding of that relationship based on the fantasies of a little girl of like, one day I'll find my mom and we'll reunite and it's gonna be amazing, and she's gonna be my best friend and we're gonna tell each other everything. And then when Janet really does come out of the quantum realm, she's very cagey yeah. and she's very closed and, and she's not telling Hope much of anything and Hope feels really shut out. And so there is a gap between what she dreamed and imagined would happen and the sort of adult reality she has to face. Yeah. And now that she's sort of, uh, sort of gotten her mom back and there is this kind of like, complicated reality. She is also running this foundation now. She's in the lead, which she's always wanted to be. Yeah. And how is she handling leadership? Is that what she expected either? Well, in, in her day-to-day -day life, leadership suits her very well, and she's very comfortable in that role, and she thrives in that role. And she's doing incredible things all around the world for global warming and, you know, housing crises and all different kinds of things like that. But, um, being thrust into the quantum realm with her family and having the stakes suddenly go from, you know, fixing macro problems to dealing with the micro relationships in her life, it's much more complicated. And I think that there's just a little bit more vulnerability that you can see because of that. Well, we're so excited to see how her relationship with her parents grows in this, what happens with Scott and Cassie. And we have a whole bunch of people who want to know that from you today. So we've got to send you on your way, but have a wonderful time tonight and congratulations. Thank you guys. Thanks, Thanks so for much. taking the time. Thank yeah. you.